Okay, welcome everyone to another five minute game. We're playing Pirandi, which is rated 1597, almost 1600, from Iceland. Bobby Fischer died in Iceland. He's buried there as well. Interesting fact. Beautiful place, Iceland. I want to visit there sometime. Okay. This line is always annoying to me, but okay. okay. Now we will put the knight here. What is he trying to do? Maybe he's trying to go for e5 or c5? e6, oh yes. Okay, that's how he wants to develop his bishop. Makes a lot of sense. It does. Alright. Let's play here. Just in case he wants to open there. Or you can take there and ruin his castling rights. Okay, let us castle. Okay, nice plans. Put a rook on the e-file. Let's cancel there. If we push, take. Okay. Can't do that. Um, interesting tactic if we go here. And he castles. We can take. No. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, we're racing time here. Let's attack the queen. Stop him from castling. Should we give the check? Sure, why not? Stop him from castling as much as possible. We go here. Okay. Um, let's bring the bishop back, put it here on f3, actually. Yeah, good placement for this bishop. This rook is attached to the f7 pawn. Interesting little. Okay, he's attacking the c3 point. But I think you can push and push. There's always a typical break that we look for in the Scandinavian Karo Slav structure. All this structure was c6. And e6, we want to be able to have that push on d5 on the d5 square. Interesting. Anyways, if he goes to b4, we want to chase him first. Right? There we do. As we do. And only then, after he goes to a6, then we want to push. Because his knight is still a Attacking d5 square. So we don't want to push just yet. I think this should be quite decent for us. Um. Why not? He takes there and take there. Sure, why not? And we wanna continue the assault with 
root d1 moves. Okay. We have moves like knight c6. That we do have. Let's first go here, right? Why not? If we go there, he moves his queen away. Go there, he takes, takes. Could exchange everything. Let's do this first. Knowing his rook a little bit. Okay, so now, now he actually has no way of defending that rook. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's looking good. It looks very active, very. Now, if we attack this, yeah, why not? Um, uh, if we go there, is that a good move? Good, threatening there and takes. He takes, we take. Okay, this looks looks very promising. Oh, he could just move the king. I don't know. It's very dodgy. Yeah, my king is having to deal with a lot here. Um, let's go here. Interference move. Now we can just win this knight. Right. Attacking this. Okay, let's continue the attack. This looks very dangerous. Okay. Now, can you stop Rook D3 mate? Yeah. Made it on H3. I'll have 20 seconds. Sacrificing an H3. Oh, I think I had this and knight F7. Yeah, okay. Lots of mates in the air over here. It's going down to 30 seconds. Let's see what it'll come up with. Have to be very alert here. Okay. Uh, this is protected by the rook. Take that, take that.
Okay, he's trying to flag me here. Let's meet. Okay, good game. Very nice attack on his king side. Uh, always annoyed with this knight f6 move instead of the immediate recapture on d4. But yeah, I seem to be handling it pretty well. Uh, attack on the queen, you know, forcing that, that weakening move. Forcing that weakening move. And this, this rerouting move. I actually learned this recently in a, a pan of bobbing attack against the Karo Khan. This typical maneuver of bishop before and then bringing it back to reroute it along the diagonal. So, yeah, I didn't invent it. It's kind of something I took from there. Uh, so, yeah, that's chasing the knight away and with tempo and then just driving it all the way to the side of the board. That was good. And this breakthrough in the center, which, uh, yeah, the queen and knight are always deadly combo. So yeah, we had to bring that rook up to now, like, so now his rook is kind of only defended by the king and makes it more vulnerable. Okay, so over here, yeah. If he goes here, oh, he can't go there. If he goes there, I just come back with that check. So, yeah, that was the idea. Why I just, why not take? And then when he went there, I was like, hey, e7. Threatening, just check and mate. Maybe not mate, maybe he would escape there, but definitely a, a killing attack here. So that's the interference. The knight move. Taking the knight and just continuing the attack. Here I thought like queen f5 was necessary, you know. And I'm up a piece. Over here he just proceeds. Okay, over here I actually had mate in two. Check and there. This was mate, but uh, rook d3 I guess continues the game. Anyways, great win. Thanks for watching, guys.